reactions in various chemical reactions uh, in acid and base topics we have studied about the salts the salts are prepared by various methods various reactions and the most important the most common definition of the salt which is prepared by neutralization so we say that as a common definition we say that salt is the compound formed by the neutralization reaction between acid and base along with the formation of water so in general we say here that salt is the compound formed compound formed along with water along with water when neutralization reaction takes place neutralization reaction takes place takes place between acid and base acid and base so this is the general definition of salt we have studied uh, about it in detail now suppose we take an example suppose the base is naoh sodium hydroxide and if it reacts with hydrochloric acid then it forms nacl plus h2 so this is the compound formed by neutralization between acid and base and hence it is called salt but if we we'll classify define it on the basis of ionic definition then we say that this is the ionic definition salt is an ionic compound is an ionic compound which gives cation other than other than h plus that is hydronium ion we can write like this h plus ion and an ion an ion other than other than oh minus ion in aqueous solution means whenever acid and base react together then it will give ionic compound which will have cation like na plus and this one so cation is other than h plus and anion is other than oh minus then this type of ionic compound will be known as the salt now we have studied various method of its preparation now we see a student the family of salt family of salt now the type of cation or anion determine its family means the salts having the same cation or the same anion form the family of the salt like you see nacl na2so4 nano3 are the sodium salts yeah salt of sodium family similarly kcl kno3 k2so4 k2co3 these are the salts of potassium so potassium these are potassium salts similarly that may be chloride salt that is if the anion present in all the salts is cl minus chloride then it will be the family of chloride salts like nacl kcl mgcl2 zncl2 so the uh, salts having same cation or anion salts having same cation or anion said to be said to be the salts of same family salts of same family so in that case suppose for example we take sodium salts sodium salts as an example nacl na no3 na2so4 
and so on. These are sodium salts. Suppose we take zinc salts. Zinc salts. Then in that case, suppose that may be Zn Cl2, Zn SO4, Zn NO3 hold twice and so on. So all of them have the common cation. Similarly, suppose we take for the anion chloride salts. Chloride salts. In that case, they have the common anion chloride that is NaCl, KCl, MgCl2, ZnCl2 and so on. So in this way, if the salts have the common cation or anion, then they belong to the same family. And so the presence of cation or anion make the family of the salt. Now, students in this part will study the type of salts, the pH of salts, the solubility of salts and other things. And then we will study the compounds obtained from sodium, hydro, sodium chloride. That is a common salt. Now we see again a student types of salt. Type of salts. There are various types of salts depending upon its property, the presence of ions and so on. But basically, we study here three types of salts. That is, first of all, normal salt. Normal salt. Now, it will have, it is the general type of salt. It will be formed by complete neutralization. It is formed by complete neutralization. Neutralization between acid and base. It's a complete neutralization reaction between acid and base. So the ionic definition of the salt is the definition of normal salt. That is, it will neither contain the molecule of salt, the molecule of salt will not contain will not contain H plus or OH minus ions. For example, in general, suppose we take NaCl sodium chloride, it has Na plus and Cl minus. This is the complete it is formed by complete neutralization of the acid and base. Now similarly suppose we take Na2SO4 KNO3, suppose ZnSO4, and so on. So, all these types of salts are called normal salt. Now, take another example, another type, acid salt. As the name suggests, it is the salt, but here the word acid also uh, is present. It means that the salt is will have some acidic property also. It means that it has been formed by partial neutralization of a dibasic or tribasic acid by a base. So, it is formed by partial neutralization. Partial neutralization of dibasic. Dibasic means the acid molecule will contain two H plus ion, two ionizable hydrogen atom. So dibasic or tribasic acid by a base. So this will have, the acid will have more than one ionizable hydrogen atom. And so if the base neutralizing it is in insufficient quantity, then complete neutralization will not take place. As a result, some replaceable hydrogen atom will be left behind. And so, in aqueous solution, it will also give H plus ion. As a result, 
its aqueous solution will will have acidic property like example na hco3 na h so4 suppose we further take similar on the basis of similar type kh so4 etc so in all these cases you see that is there is the ionizable hydrogen atom so if it has aqueous solution then on ionized dissociation it gives na plus h plus and co3 to minus so due to the presence of this ion h plus ion its aqueous solution will have acidic property its aqueous solution will turn blue litmus red and so this is called acid salt clear student now as the next part on the similar basis we will have basic salt basic salt again likes acid salt it will be basic salt means there this time there will be partial neutralization of a diacidic or triacidic base by an acid so it is formed by partial neutralization of diacidic or triacidic base by an acid now diacidic means the one molecule of the base will have two oh group hydroxide group and triacidic means it will have three hydroxide group for example here we take suppose we take caoh whole twice so this is diacidic base similarly for this one suppose we have feoh whole three that is its one molecule has three hydroxide groups so this is triacidic base so if these are neutralized partially it means that the oh group will not be completely replaced or ionized as a result if this group is left behind in the salt molecule then in aqueous solution it will give additional oh group and hence the solution will be basic in nature so in this case you see that is uh, these salts these salts give additional additional oh minus ion in aqueous solution hence it will be basic in nature it will be basic in nature and uh, turn turn red litmus blue red litmus solution blue so this will be basic in nature like you see suppose example suppose we take calcium hydroxide it reacts with hydrochloric acid but it is not completely neutralized suppose out of the two hydroxyl group one is neutralized and one is left due to insufficient acid as a result suppose it gives ca oh and then cl here is a partial neutralization so in aqueous solution suppose we take another example again etc so if you will take its aqueous solution then on ionized dissociation it gives ca2 plus oh minus ion and cl minus ion so due to this ion it will have basic property clear student so we have classified the salts 
on the basis of the ions present in it now basically in detail in higher class you will study further other types of salts like mixed salt double salt complex salt and so on now suppose a student we have to study that which salt is soluble in water or insoluble in water because in laboratory or for different chemical reactions we require the solution of the salt to be made to be prepared for different chemical reactions because in aqueous solution the reaction take place easily we have already studied about the conditions required for the reaction to take place so now we are going to study the solubility of salt solubility of salts by studying this topic this point it will be clear to you that which salt will be soluble in water and which will be insoluble accordingly you can easily take its chemical reaction now so point wise i uh, just uh, i am writing here explaining here now all compounds all compounds of k plus na plus and nh4 plus are soluble in water actually uh, all solubility is discussed here in water that is in aqueous solution so what is what does it mean it means that all compounds of potassium family sodium family and ammonium family are soluble in water there is no exception like potassium oxide hydroxide nitrate sulfate chloride carbonate sulfide sulfides and so on so all compounds of k plus na plus and nh4 plus are soluble in water now next all nitrates and nitrites are soluble there is no exception means you can take any metal suppose you have to, uh, to answer suppose a question is asked name a soluble salt of mercury soluble salt of lead which you have not studied earlier or the metal which we have not used in normal reactions general reactions suppose platinum it is asked to, uh, to answer or name the soluble salt of platinum then you need not require to look for the different answers just you go for its nitrate that is like lead nitrate platinum nitrate or anything because all nitrates and nitrites without any exception are soluble in water now next all chlorides are soluble now this is general point general topic but few chlorides are except in exception x like except pbcl2 lead chloride is soluble in uh, cold hot water but insoluble in cold water means in general it is insoluble lead chloride silver chloride mercuric chloride these three are basically insoluble in water so generally we see here that all chlorides are soluble except these three now similarly all sulfates are soluble again here there is some uh, exception so after studying this topic you will see that if you learn just exceptions or fewer salts which are insoluble then you will be able to answer about the soluble salts so here there is the limited compound sulfate like caso4 that is calcium sulfate 
बेरियम सल्फेट एंड लेड सल्फेट दीज थ्री सल्फेट आर इन सोलबल एंड देन मोस्टली सल्फेट आर सोलबल ना कम टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट अगेन ऑल कार्बोनेट्स कार्बोनेट्स सल्फाइड्स 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 आर इनसोलेबल यू कैन राइट फर्दर हियर हाइड्रोक्साइड्स हाइड्रोक्साइड्स आर इनसोलेबल इनसोलेबल but here is the again exception and what is the exception which we have written in the first point means all carbonates sulfide sulfide hydroxides are insoluble but since we have written here that all compounds of these three families are soluble so there will be exception here so we write here that is uh, except that of except that of k plus na plus and nh4 plus so now you will be able to answer the solubility about the solubility of different types of salts clear student now next point which we have to study here suppose there is a normal salt now what will be its ph will it be 7 always 7 no depending upon the strength of acid and base is used even the ph of normal salt will be less than or more than 7 so for studying this topic that is That we can write here pH of salt. Generally, we say that if there is a normal salt, it is formed by complete neutralization reaction. Then its its pH will be seven. It will have no effect on litmus paper. But here we will study about one property of the salt. that is called hydrolysis of salt hydro means water lysis means decomposition splitting so this is the reaction or in which the salt will be decomposed with the help of water that is this is the reaction opposite to that of neutralization so what we will write here the reaction of a salt with water the reaction of a salt with water with water producing 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 एसिडिक और अल्कालाइन सॉल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ सॉल्ट बट नाउ हियर वी हैव टू स्टडी दैट विच सॉल्ट विल फॉर्म एसिडिक सॉल्ट एसिडिक सॉल्यूशन एंड विच सॉल्ट विल फॉर्म अल्कालाइन सॉल्यूशन नाउ कम टू द पॉइंट हियर अगेन now here we see that is the salt made from a strong acid and weak base weak base or alkali form acidic so acidic solution acidic solution now here we write a strong acid weak base in acid base topic we have studied there are three uh, we have studied three uh, strong acids hydrochloric acid nitric acid and sulfuric acid and others were weak acids similarly 
in alkali potassium and sodium hydroxides barium hydroxide we are taken as a weak base, uh, a strong base and others are weak now we see a salt made from a strong acid and weak base or alkali form acidic solution example suppose we have cuso4 how will you write here suppose it reacts with water then it forms cuoh hold twice plus h2so4 means in the salt from the cation we will make the base and from the anion we will make the acid so this salt is made from copper hydroxide which is a weak base and a strong acid that is the strong acid sulfuric acid hence the solution will be acidic in nature acidic solution clear student so in this way whatever may be the example of salt given you must make or separates acid and base and then decide which is strong now it's this solution this salt solution will turn blue litmus red because it is acidic in nature now next salt made from weak acid and a strong alkali a strong alkali form alkaline solution alkaline solution now this time again we see suppose we take na2co3 plus h2o from here na plus gives naoh that is the strong alkali and this is the carbonate gives h2co3 that is the weak acid so this is a strong alkali this is weak acid that is naoh plus h2co3 so this solution will be alkaline in nature that is the solution of sodium carbonate will turn red litmus paper blue so in this way you can easily determine and what will be its ph the ph will be greater than 7 in this case ph is less than 7 now one more more point related to it what happens if the acid and base both are strong or both are weak then they do not undergo hydrolysis and there will be the normal neutral salt so we write here the salt made from a strong acid and a strong alkali or weak acid and weak base weak base form neutral salt form neutral solution that is they will not undergo hydrolysis for example suppose we take nacl now from na it gives naoh from cl it gives hcl so both of them are strong this is a strong alkali this is a strong acid so sodium chloride is formed from naoh the strong alkali hcl the strong acid so this solution will be neutral solution neutral solution its ph will be equal to 7 suppose take another example suppose we take for both the weak part like you see uh, suppose uh, zinc acetate zn coo uh, hold twice uh, ch3 
COO, COO, second part, we write here, hold to ZN. Zinc acetate, from this part it forms zinc hydroxide, which is a weak base, and this is from acetic acid, CH3, COOH. Since both of them are weak, so it will form neutral solution. So just a student we have studied about the nature, the pH of the salt solution. So it is not necessary that even if there is a normal salt, its pH will be always equal to 7. It depends upon the acid and base used in the preparation of the salt. Clear student? So in next part we will study the salts or compounds prepared from common salt.